Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be talking about how to make a special bean dip. And yes, I have to concentrate when I say that because it is kind of hard to say those two words together for some reason. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Susanna. I grew up in Spain. I came here a very long time ago, but sometimes I get those words that are very difficult to pronounce. Bean dip, bean dip, bean dip. <laughs> Anyways, today I am making a special bean dip and it's without cream cheese. I know that most of you might know it with cream cheese, but I've got someone in the family that doesn't really like cream cheese in the dip. So I will go ahead and make this special one. He's had it before, he approves, and that's why I'm showing it to you. For this recipe, we're going to use one and a half tablespoons of olive oil, a half a cup of onion cut up, one garlic clove minced, one jalapeno cut up, half a tablespoon of chili powder, one tablespoon of tomato paste, one and a half tablespoons of lime juice, one 15 ounce can of beans rinsed and drained, and salt to taste. We're going to add approximately one and a half tablespoons of olive oil. My pot is already hot, so I am going to add my onions and my jalapeno. I added a few of the seeds to make it a little bit hot. I'm going to add a pinch of salt. It's starting to look a little bit golden, so this is when I'm going to add my garlic. chili and my tomato paste. Now I'm going to deglaze it with approximately a tablespoon and a half of the lime juice. Now I'm gonna remove it. It smells really good. I'm ready to add the mix. Get some salt and some leftover lime juice just in case I need to adjust it for flavor. And we're going to add the beans. I'm going to add a little bit of water, about a tablespoon. It's gonna need a little more salt. I'm going to add a little bit more lime juice 
Of course, this is just to your taste. And I'm also going to add a little bit of water just for a smoother texture. About another tablespoon. Okay guys, so here we have it. I am going to serve it hot, therefore I have to put this in the microwave. I'm only going to place it 20 seconds at a time. I'm going to stir it and then put it back 20 more seconds until I feel that it's hot enough to serve. So make sure you don't go over 20 seconds every time because you might have a bean explosion. Trust me. So here it is. It took about a minute and 20 seconds, 20 seconds at a time and then I transfer it over to this beautiful dish. I added some chips. Of course, you could add any vegetables if you like. And it's time to give this a try. Mm. It's delicious. I'm gonna give you a tip. The chips are kind of salty, so don't go overboard putting salt in the dip because it might be too much. This is perfect the way I have it, but just in case as you're trying your dip and you're trying to adjust, don't, don't put too much if you're planning on serving it with chips. I hope you like my recipe. Give me a thumbs up, tell me how much you love it, and I will see you next time. Take care.